Today's podcast is about the expressions I had better do something, or else, and otherwise. There is a grammar and vocabulary note as well. If you are listening on iTunes, remember that you will need to visit the website to see it. Kevin and Joanne have friends, John and Sue, who live in a rural part of Wales. They have invited Kevin and Joanne to visit them for the weekend. Joanne packs a bag with the things they need to take with them. We had better take waterproofs and wellies in case it rains, and an extra sweater because their house is really cold, said Joanne. I'll fill the car up with petrol, said Kevin, otherwise we may run out on the motorway. When they set off it was raining but as they drove into Wales, the sun came out. The hills, fields and woods looked glorious in the sunshine. But then disaster struck. A peculiar noise came from the back of the car. Kevin stopped and got out. There was a puncture in one of the back tyres. No problem, said Kevin. I'll get the spare wheel. But then he found... They had no jack to lift the car with. "'We'd better find a garage,' said Kevin. "'Otherwise we'll be here all night.' "'I'd better phone John and Sue,' said Joanne, "'or else they'll think we have got lost.' Fortunately, another motorist stopped and helped them change the wheel. "'I'd better buy a new jack as soon as possible,' said Kevin." in case we get another puncture. OK, let's stop in the next town, said Joanne. We'd better buy a present for John and Sue to say thank you for having us. Later they arrived at John and Sue's house, an old stone cottage in a village near the sea. Joanne and Sue chatted in the kitchen. John and Kevin went to the pub. Make sure you're back by eight o'clock, said Sue. Otherwise, your supper will be cold. The next day, they walked through the fields and woods and down to the sea. Close the gate behind you, Kevin, said Sue, or else the sheep will get out onto the road. They sat on the beach. The sun was warm, even though it was autumn. I haven't brought my bathing costume, said Joanne. Otherwise, I would go for a swim. It was late on Sunday evening before Kevin and Joanne left. John and Sue urged them to stay for another night. No, we had better go, said Joanne. Otherwise we'll be too tired to go to work in the morning. Would you like to live in Wales? asked Joanne as she and Kevin drove home. Yes, said Kevin. But what sort of job could I get? John designs web pages. He can work from home. Well, perhaps you had better become a famous web designer too, said Joanne. Though, actually, I prefer you as you are. Goodbye.